Hey guys, Wolf of Dimensions coming back at you with a new video. Today I am discussing if the monster Baragon, the subterranean god, will ever return. Now, uh, Baragon, ever since he came on screen, was always a favorite of mine just because of the sheer simplicity in his design. I've had a tendency to like weaker monsters for how they look and the possibilities, if there were movies of just them, they could give. Um, my other, my true favorite, besides Godzilla being Anguirus, um, Baragon comes at a close uh, third or fourth, actually. He's, he's really up there on my list. Now, today we'll be discussing again if he will be able to make a return. Now, originally, if um, I hadn't had gotten news of a certain, from a certain uh, D Man 1954 that Anguirus and Orga have been scheduled to be released, I'm pretty sure in the anime. Um, he can beat me up later if I'm wrong. But um, with that in mind, originally I was going to say in Shin Godzilla, Baragon for sure is not returning. Um, Baragon has no place in modern Japanese Godzilla, Godzilla films. And in American Godzilla, we don't know what they have the rights to, as I've said before um, in other ones. But the issue is is that he's such an obscure monster, I'm not sure that they would put him in there. For the f sheer fact of there aren't enough major fans in the, in, in the Godzilla community in America to be a major powerhouse. And even if there is, Toho doesn't care. It's like how you can't really make extreme news videos about them or movie reviews. Because they they really shut that stuff down over here in America. Like if it's if it's licensed to Toho, biggest chance that it's gonna get taken down. And I don't know why they do that. I mean, they can. I mean, it's it's not my place to say, tell them they shouldn't. But it really stops a lot of their progress in spreading um, publicity for these new monsters and new ideas. So. Um, yeah, I, I've gotten away with a lot more than I probably should have, and I've released stuff that D-Man said, you know, this is going to get taken down, and it hasn't. It's probably because I'm so small of a channel. You know, I'm not that big. But um, because of this and how, how Toho uses their content and how they share their content and how most of the public views their content, I highly doubt Baragon will be making a return in the Legendary series. I would love to see it, though. Now, um, I would like to say that he probably will, in my opinion, opinion, he'll probably return in the anime, because with, or with Orga and Anguirus being licensed back into the fold, um, Orga being an obscure monster and Anguirus' limelight dying out in the 60s, I really think that he, ha that he has a chance. Baragon had his, uh, big moment in 2001, but his title wasn't even in the name. So, again, I really do believe he can be a monster on this monster planet. I think they're going to try to pull out all the stops and bring as much people back as they can. And, um, yeah, look forward to seeing Baragon, guys. In my opinion, he's going to be there. Um, he has a place in Godzilla history, and he deserves his own position in another film, anime, whatever. So, um, yeah, expect to see this. Expect to see Baragon. Um, expect to watch the anime. I will say to all you non-anime fans, um, I would check this out. Um, even though anime may be different from Godzilla, it is still of Japanese origin, especially for the Toho fanboys, who might get angry I said that, but still, it will be worth watching. So, uh, that's really it for today, guys. Just my opinion on Baragon and how I think he will return for the anime. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Wolf of Dimensions, signing off.